Hey everybody, Sean at Rainier Arms. Today we have a new products weekly video and a couple of these products are pretty rad. So first one that we're gonna talk about comes from QLLC and it is the Honey Badger 2.0. So this bad boy right here, seven inch barrel and 300 blackout, right? Barrel is a one to five twist. Muzzle device is gonna be your tapered cherry bomb. Thread pitch is gonna be 528 by 24. Two stage trigger, very, very nice reset, very light as well. You're gonna have a two positioning teles telescopic, there we go, telescopic pistol brace, all right? Nice little QD link here. You have the Radiant Raptor badged in the QLLC charging handle, ambidextrous, as well as the ambidextrous safety selectors. So pretty rad gun right here. Anybody who has kind of been into the video game world for a while or just following uh, firearms that were made for uh, special forces, contract companies, things like that, you know about the Honey Badger, right? It's been around for a little bit and now, you know, it's been upgraded in this sense. Uh, pretty much all the technical parts on this have been improved by Q and the uh, end result is just this pretty, pretty badass little package right here. Um, also to mention, it does have the low profile, might be a little tough to see, but the low profile gas block as well, uh, adjustable. So pretty rad little gun, man. I, I love the color schemes that Q does nowadays and uh, just really cool stuff in general. So there it is, the Q Honey Badger 2.0 300 Blackout. All right, next product also comes from Q and it is the QLLC pork chop. So this is a suppressor for the 8.6 black. Super awesome round. Do a little unboxing here. So in the box, we're gonna be getting a pretty sweet little pork chop sticker. I really like the names that uh, Q likes to use. Uh, with it, you're just gonna get some, uh, some little charts that are gonna be talking about your specifications for torquing and all that. So in here, so with this suppressor, you're gonna be getting the Cherry Bomb muzzle brake. If I can get it out, it's packaged nice and tight in there. Come on, baby. There we go. Cherry Bomb muzzle brake right there, easy to thread on, and that's gonna give you that quickie uh, disconnect and attachment they have. So the suppressor's coming in, a nice little branded pork chop, nice and soft case there. So here is the pork chop itself. It's 8.6 inch, inches long. Don't know if they did that on purpose, but it is. Um, it is a very, very light suppressor. So this sucker is only weighing 12 ounces. So less than a pound for an 8.6 inch long suppressor. Uh, part of that is because they're using incredibly high quality stainless steel, uh, as well as technology for the welding. They're using the laser welding technology. So it's allowing for very consistent, very durable, and a very light suppressor overall. The finish is a black nitride, uh, and just overall a good looking suppressor. So something that will easily be interchangeable from your Q fix uh, bolt action rifle, uh, or if you get the Q boom box, quick and easy, uh, a quick and easy attachment and, and detachment going on with the setup here from Q and their pork chop suppressor. All right, the next product is a pretty rad product and it's coming from Lago Arms and it is the Alien, but this Alien, a little bit different than the other ones that we featured before. This is the Creator Evolution. It's a limited optics edition handgun, okay? So let's take a look at this bad boy. It is pretty dang sweet. So obviously you can see it comes in a pretty sweet case. The Aliens usually do, kind of a one-off custom case. In the case, besides the handgun, we'll look at a couple things. You're gonna be getting this uh, custom made dry fire tool, right? Put it into the chamber. On the back side, it's got a little rubber dimple piece that is designed to allow your firing pin to smack it a bunch of times and be fine. Uh, you're gonna get a whole mess of different tools that you're gonna be able to utilize, as well as a couple features I'm gonna hold off on a second for a second to show you. But let's take a look at this handgun here. So, Beautiful and you can already tell it is different than the aliens that we featured before and the aliens that you would typically see So one of the big key features that sticks out is one this magazine This magazine is a 22 round so extended 22 round magazine So you get 22 plus one 
which is gonna be great for those that are running this handgun in the limited optics classes for USPSA, IDPA, PCSL, whatever it is you might be running. The other big one that you can see right away is that extended magwell. That sucker is huge, and that's gonna make the reloads a whole lot freaking easier. Okay, so let's start talking about this pistol a little bit though. So, as we already know with the aliens, the lowest bore axis in the world. I mean, you can see how low that, that bore is when you get that good high grip on there. Uh, the bore is pretty much in line with the top of your of your hand. So already gonna have really good recoil on pulse, all that. Things that we've covered in videos before, right? Uh, the trigger is gonna be tuned when you get it to three and a half pounds. Obviously that's something that you can play with and adjust if you would like, right? Barrel, 4.8 inch long barrel. The slide and the frame are both gonna be DLC, so diamond-like carbon uh, coated on there. Real aggressive texture on the side, as well as some good checkering on the front there. Uh, so the grip is easy to build up and get a really, really strong grip. The other unique feature, so besides the fact that with Aliens, the slide is reciprocating, but the barrel stays in place the whole time. So what Alien had to do was come up with some changes to their models so that people that want to compete can have a uh, optics ready pistol where the optic is actually on the slide and reciprocating. Uh, some of the other models, the optic is on this top rail and it doesn't move at all, which is great for shooting, but it kind of made it hard for classifications when it came to competition. So that's why we got like the Alien Retro um, and as well as this, this Alien here. So on that plate, it's already cut and set up for an RMR SRO, as well as Le uh, Leopold Delta Point Pro and the Shield RMS. So you have multiple options that you can directly mount onto that plate. Another great feature about the Alien. Now the other neat feature about this limited optic Alien here is this here. These two pieces make up the core components for adjustable thumb rest. This thumb rest with the screws, there's a bunch of screws and stuff that are right in there. Um, you get to attach this plate up there onto that side rail. And once that's attached, you have a few different options for angling for how you want to angle that thumb rest. So the end result being pretty much a adjustable gas pedal, um, which is very popular nowadays in the competition world for pistols. and and beyond that now you're seeing it a lot more on carry pistols and stuff as magazines are able to handle it so again super unique awesome gun by alien logo arms and a, it's just so smooth man that trigger let's go ahead and get some trigger time on there so just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like what it feels like okay i'm at the wall i'm gonna go just a little bit and i've got click reset that trigger Finger's gonna come off just a little bit. Reset, I'm at the wall again, click. I mean, it's super smooth, three and a half pounds, low amount of travel, just a unique gun, and it's so fun to shoot. Uh, I haven't got to shoot this version, but I've shot a couple other aliens, some at SHOT Show, and man, they're just a treat. They really, really are. So if you're real serious about it, you wanna shoot something unique, get yourself Lago Arms Alien, Crater Evolution Edition, the limited optics. You won't be sad. Well, price tag, you'll be sad, but afterwards you'll be, you'll be pretty happy about this. Boom. All right, guys, thanks for spending some time on another video with us today. I hope you enjoyed some of the products that we showed today. Please let us know in the comment section after you like and subscribe. Let us know if there's anything else you'd like us to bring in to our online store. Um, or if there's anything that you'd like us to cover. We're really interested in doing some how-tos, uh, talking about you know how to set up different handguns, rifles, whatever it might be, whatever you have in mind. Let us know in that comment section. And if you have any other questions about anything, also, please let us know in that comment section. Thanks for spending your time with us, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.